three ways to trigger your blessing. To access hizo vitu zaje zimejaza dunia na nza babako. The first one take dominion. Take dominion. Hallelujah. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent take it by force. Amen. Amen. Maze mpaka mind yako is shift. Ukatai umaskini with a passion. Na ukimaliza kuikata with a passion, uingie kwa vitendo. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa sana. Hallelujah. Kuna rafiki yangu napendaga story yake. Alimaliza form 4 hiyo miaka yetu. Akatoka na division 1. Na walikuwa very poor. Unajua ile poor ambayo hata poor people also call you poor. Hmm? Umuliza jirano, umesikia gayo poverty. Yani you are so poor that even the poor people around you begin calling you. Yani uwe ni maskini, mpaka maskini wenyewe. Pia wao, wanakuita maskini. Paka wanasema fadhali wao. Hata kama ni maskini, afadhali wangu. Wako umezidi. Bas, <coughs> na division wani yaki akapata. Mungu alivyo umwema. Sasa kile siku liza alifikaje form 4 sijui lakini kufika alifika na alipita vizuri sana lakini ataenda wapi atafanya ah, nini there is nothing there is nothing there is nothing hello akafanya kibarua akanunua shamba i mean akanunua panga shamba ilikuwa ya mama akasema nitaanza na kulima uh, sijui ilikuwa vitungu, sijui ilikuwa tomato, sijui ilikuwa sukuma, sijui ilikuwa whatever. Na, ya halipo nunua panga, akaitia makali vizuri. Usiku wakaenda kulala na mamaki. Walipo, walipo, alipo amuka. Unajua kuna mtu anamkaga usiku, eh? Akitoka nje. It was so bright, utafikiri ni mchano. Akasema, nangojia nini? Panga iko, shamba iko. Na nuru iko. Sijui likuwa saa nane usiku ama saa saba usiku jamaa akatoka na panga yake akaanza kufieka msitu hapo around mama akitoka na e mana watu utoka <laughs> akasikia ka 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 ile sauti ya panga akauliza nani uko shambani akasema ni mimi mama unafanya nini usiku ninafieka kichwa imeruka hapana na kata umaskin Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tuki akitupatia hiyo story ya the biggest butchery kwa tauni yake. When we went there next, alikuwa anaenda kuleta mifugo ikiwa hai alete bucha zote za hapo hiyo town ndio wanunue ngombe kwake waende kuchinja lakini alianza usiku na panga hebu ambia jirani you must hate poverty that much alianza usiku na capital yake ilikuwa nini panga na sijamwona kwa miaka mingi lakini reverend ronald aliambia mwezi wa 6 turudi huko kwao twende to find out eh, wameendeleaje sumpige bwana yesu makofi Ah, nasema mpigie bwana Yesu makofi. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. Ndio hilo neno I'm blessed nililitoa hapo. The Bible says and God blessed them. Ndio maana anasema I'm blessed. God blessed them. And he blessed them with what? Ndiyo mana nilaubiri ujumbe. When God blessed man, the Bible says, he said, 
And when I'm releasing God's blessing upon your life, I am also saying, I'm also speaking the same things that the Bible says. Because the word of God is life. It is not only alive, but it is life. Hallelujah. It is life giving. He said, Number one, be fruitful. In the Obaraka ya Kwanza Ambaya Mungwa Likupa, Uwezo Wakuza na Kusalisha. He Uwezo Wakuza na Kusalisha, Sia Kuza na Kusalisha Wanadam Pekeake. Uki apply only kwa watu kama my uncle moja ambaye aliniambia siwezi kosa vyote nimekosa bali kwa hivyo alikubali kwamba amekosa mali sikosi watu kwa hivyo watu naza kaambia za baba za baba ipige bwana Yesu makofi mazuri ampige bwana Yesu makofi mazuri kaambia jirani Usizae watu peke yake. Zalisha mali pia. Mana the blessing is enough. It depends on how you take it, how you believe it, and how you apply it. Hallelujah. Mimi nilipoisoma, nilielewa ya kwamba it covers more than just your biological children. Hallelujah. Be fruitful and multiply. God is releasing a blessing of multiplication. He blessing of multiplication ndiyo ilikuwa na Joseph. Hivi kwamba kila kitu alicho kigusa katika nyumba ya Potifa kili multiply. I release the blessing of fruitfulness and multiplication in your life now in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. I tell you, go and multiply. Multiply in things, multiply in everything. Sumpigi wana yesu makofi mazuri. Nina jiongelesha? Ama mko? Wee marengine? Doze, doze? Kule nyuma? Mekaa mbali sana. Mnapata hii wave. Ah, mchapie bwana Yesu makofi basi. <laughs> Ameachilia baraka ya fruitfulness. Nasikia kuisema tena. Hii baraka ukisha ipokea tuseme Eve. Amen. Wa Adam. Hata kama ingekuwa ni mama wa kwanza na kwa bahati mbaya bado ni tasa the moment god said be fruitful utasa unaisha kwa hivyo nakausha kila utasa maishani mwako utasa na fruitfulness always kaa pamoja hey hallelujah hallelujah hebu ambie jirani hao wa jamaa wakagi majirani mmoja akifika yule mwingine wao ameenda Uwa naacha salamu, lakini mwenye na yuko. Ah, hallelujah. Hey. Ibu, ibu mpatie jirani ya bari muambie, uyo bana naitua utasa, ameaga asubu ya lienda, ayuko hapa. Ayuko, jamaa meenda. Tumepata mgeni mpia naitua fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Nasema hallelujah. Nasema haleluya. Nasema haleluya. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Oh haleluya, haleluya. Na limgojea Bwana kwa saburi. Naye akanisikiliza. Aka 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 akanyosha mkono wake. Akanitoa kwenye shimo. Natazama lile shimo lilikuwa la utelezi. Akaimarisha hatua zangu juu ya mwamba. Ninatangaza ya kwamba unatoka katika utasa. Umekwamia katika utasa. Ulikuwa umekwama katika utasa. 
lakini katika jina la Yesu Kristo unatoka katika hilo shimo umekuwa ukiteleza na kurudi hapo hapo lakini leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo natangaza unatoka natangaza unatoka mkono wa Bwana umenyoshwa unakutoa katika shimo la utelezi wa umaskini utelezi wa utasa katika jina la Yesu Kristo na sasa may everything you touch may everything you do multiply in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah i like the th the third one even more and replenish the earth Sema replenish replenish ni baraka ya kuzuia kufilisika hallelujah ni ile baraka ambayo Mungu alinipa mimi maana aliambia babangu amempa kisima mimi nilipomuomba na mimi nimenipa nini aliambia nimekupa kikombe kinachofurika tuka argue kidogo nikamwambia hapana that's not fair neno lako linasema from glory to glory so what <coughs> akasema wewe ndio hujasoma vizuri kikombe kinafurika si kikombe kikombe kinacho it means they drink from the overflow they never drink from your cup so your cup is ever full niseme ni, nionge crudely nionge ina maana tayo kisima ya mzee inaza jazo na kikombe yangu <laughs> ah pigi bana inategemea tu ukija na kisima kinajaa ukija na drum yako inajaa ukija na kiko na na nini hii na 20 liter yako inajaa hata 10 liter hata 5 liter sasa wale ambao ni wajuri zaidi na wavivu ukija na jug pia itajaa <laughs> na kama pia imekuzidi zaidi uje na kikombe e, mag ama kile kikombe kidogo zaidi pia kitajaa lakini uelewe changu si kikombe tu changu e, kiko na difference kinafurika amen and you drink from the overflow hallelujah so replenishing means wajua mimi niko beyond replenish maana replenish ina maana ukikunywa unakunywaga kota unabaki na three quarter sasa unahitajika u replenish irudi full umepewa uwezo ukikunywa ifike half una uwezo wa kuirudisha tena full siku nyingine unakaa zaidi ukikunywa three quarter <clears throat> Unahitaji kurefill na ngapi? Eh? Ukikunywa 3 quarter, unatakiwa refill na 3 quarter. Do I need to tell you huruhusiwi kukunywa yote? Maana hakuna siku atakayo useme sina kabisa. Haleluya. Sio kuna mtu ana follow hii ujumbe. Ambia jirani vile pastor anasema ni hivi sukari kwa wako haiwezi kuisha ikaisha kabisa kabla haijaisha inakuja ingine hizi nguo wezi kwamia nyumbani maana huna nguo ya kuja ibada zinafuatanaga ili uwe na za kubadilisha usije ukahurumiwa mpaka ukaanza kutafutiwa wale wa kutafutiwa ni wale wanakuja hii kanisa baadaye lakini wale tulikuwa hapa hapa hebu mpige bwana Yesu bakofi wizi kuwa wa hii kanisa na umekaa hapa muda mrefu na hati mpaka tukuhurumie twende kukutafutia nguo hapa kuna baraka ya replenish neema ya ku replenish ikipungua zikipungua zinakujaga zingine na usinulize zinakujaga vipi ni grace hiyo ni angapi replenish then rule rule hebu ambia mtu tawala tawala be in control amen don't just take things i nimekuta tu imefa hakuna hiyo be in control mpigie bwana yesu makofi take charge hmm? mama joyce maya anasemaga command your morning command your day 
Hallelujah. Command your generation. Hallelujah. Speak like Joel. Who said our young people shall see visions. Our daughters shall prophesy. Our young men shall have visions. In Jesus name. Our men shall dream dreams. Na akiasema yanasimama mbinguni milele mpaka kupatikane petro anayesema haya mambo mnayaona ni yale yaliongewa na mwanamme anaitwa Yoeli nimekuja kukuambia kubarikiwa ni lazima maana mpaka wengine wasema haya mambo ndio alikuwa anasema na pastor Charles Hallelujah Hallelujah there is no way you can be in this kingdom of God and remain poor when your father owns the whole universe it is not fair. I refuse it in Jesus name. Hebu ambie jirani it is not fair. It is not fair that your father owns everything. Na wewe uko hapa. You you lack everything. Your father owns everything and you lack aviendi. Hebu ambie jirani that is not my story in Jesus name. Muambie vizuri that is not my story in Jesus name. I love have dominion. Do you know what Have dominion. Amen. What you mean I dominion? What your dominion? Yani. Yani my picture. What you say? See English. See per dictionary. Neither way. The weight. I get it. Yani mtu oku dominate. Hapeagi wengine kupumua. Yani it has to be the way he wants it. Ana take dominion, yani ana dominate, yani ana dictate na vinakuwa. Ambia jirani, we are talking about me this time. Na umeambia ufanya hivyo, na samaki wote wa baharini. Ambia jirani, wote, 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 wote. Hivile ya tukona wakaribu, lakini wale samaki wote, walioko baharini maze, ulipewa. Sasa uwauzi maana hujawahi <coughs> jua ni wako. <laughs> Afu kabewa na ndege wote wako angani. Pia Pia no nani? Alafu na kila kilicho hai. Kila kilicho hai. Kitembeacho na kitambaacho juu ya uso wa nchi. 29 is even sweeter. Kila tunda lenye limeficha mbegu ndani yake. Sasa hapo ndo kunakuwa na shida. Ndio hii Mr. Molkware alikuwa anasema juzi. Sasa shida unatondaga matunda alafu juagi ndani yake yameficha nini? Mbegu. Unakulaga. Hebu <laughs> biajira ni kila tunda, kila kitu unachopata ni tunda lenye limeficha mbegu so makosa yetu ya kukuwa maskini na si matajiri yameanziaga hapo yameanzia verse 29 ulipewa lakini there was a trick kuna hesabu itabidi tuisome hizo zingine hizo zingine achana nazo lakini verse 29 inabidi tuisome maana it is very tricky Mungu akasema na tuisome na Kiswahili usije ukawa na kutoelewa tazama nimewapa kila mche utao mbegu ulio juu ya uso wa nchi pia na kila mti ambao matunda yake yana mbegu sio naona hapo imerudiwa vitakuwa ndivyo chakula chenu sasa si tukachukua hapo chakula chenu <laughs> tukao tunakula <laughs> hebu wabe jirani hivi tukumbe vimefichaga mbegu ndani kila kitu unachopata ni tunda lenye lina mbegu ndani yake mbegu hailiwi mbegu hupandwa amen that brings us to point number two. how to trigger the flow e iko very direct very very direct malakai chapter 3 verse 10 Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 you can't miss it 
Inasema, bring ye all tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat ni nyama eh <coughs> Kiswahili amepunguza amesema chakula lakini hii ya kizungu inasema kuwe na nyama nyingi in my house and prove me now here with say the lord of hosts if i will not open you windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it njia ya kufungua baraka ni moja amen kila aliye na account alifungua na kila mmoja wetu huenda mahali alifungua account hebu kama ni kweli ninasema mtu anyoshe mkono amen hebu niseme mimi account yangu iko KCB mimi siendagi DTB DTB maana wale maskari watanifukuza bure mtu mzima na akili zangu nikienda kujaribu ku withdraw DTB na nitoe kadi zangu za KCB askari atapewa atambie jamaa nafikiri eh ako na problem ya kiafya kidogo e, mpeleke mpaka KCB tumekupa ruhusa ya dakika kama kumi walk him to KCB maana ina kazi kata zake zinasema yeye ni wa KCB kwa hivyo mpeleke wapi uliza jirani wewe unafungwaga account heaven ndio daigi heaven hivyo muulize account yenyewe maana imesema kufungua madirisha hapo ni kufanya nini eh ni kufanya nini uh, you, you open the floodgates of heaven yourself ufunguo huko lakini umefanya kama yule mama ambao walikuwa nalima na na, binti, na mjukuu mvua ilipoanza kunyesha akatangulia nyanya akaacha binti shambani binti akafanya mpango mpango akakaa chini ya mgomba mvua ilipopungua akafika akakuta nyanya amenyeshwa vizuri akiwa amefika jibali akiulizwa ai nyanya mbona uko nje na unanyeshewa akasema nilikuwa na ngoja e, ufungue nyumba akamwambia si ufungu uko hapo kwa leso yako akafungua leso ufunguo umefunga umeufunga pale na sakufungiwa na binti alikuwa amefunga lakini akarudi akasahau ananyeshewa na nyumba iko maana hafungui ambia jirani tuanze cheka yule nyanya lakini hatuna tofauti kubwa um, <laughs> zile bank zinasemaga tuliongea na mwabili juzi maana niliingia ya kwao pia ya zogori akaniambia eh, kuna account ukifungua <clears throat> you must maintain a balance of 400 every other time hebu ambia jirani minimum balance una maintain kwa kwa account sasa hii pia ina minimum balance minimum balance yake ni 10%. Ambia jirani hii account ya heaven ina minimum balance. Ili wafanyikazi wa bank wasikufe njaa. Ati watu wametoa pesa zao zo mpaka kubakigi 10% ndio mtumishi aslale njaa. Mwaza toa zaidi mkajenga wazatoa zaidi mkafanya nini mkanunua gari la bus hata eh, siku hizi nasikia wanaongea wataka wanunue bus kubwa hii jengo ikisha kama ulijajua agenda haijatoka kwangu iko humo kama hujajuaga wewe hujasikia eh humo humo kwenu humo hii nyumba ikisha eh basi ni basi natafutwa hebu <laughs> <laughs> mpigie bwana Yesu bakofi ambia jirani haya yote ni mazuri lakini kuna kitu heaven inaita nini minimum 
balance kwa ile account ni 10% na sababu yake ikasemwa vizuri i can tell you unajua mimi pia kidogo elimu ilikuwa kidogo niliambia watu kwa kina patience i visited the school kukaa ndio sikaa sana but nile arrive shuleni nile arrive na siko na haraka sana baadaye nikaenda nyumbani lakini nilifika na nilipokuwa huko nilijua vitu viwili vitatu sumchapie bwana Yesu makofi ambia mmoja mmoja ni hiyo ya kwamba kuna kitu kinaitwaaga minimum balance Amen. Na sasa mathematics ikaniambia. <coughs> Hesabu ya heaven ilikuwa 10. Mathematics iliniambia hesabu ya heaven ilikuwa 10. If a minister serves 10 adults who are sustaining their families, he should be able to live at the same standard with that community that is pastoring because when each of them gives a tithe he gets their average so when you see pastors struggle na washirika wako na wanaendelea vizuri ina maana wengi ni wez biblia inawaita wez kwa sababu wanyang'anya maana tithe si yako ambia jirani hiyo 10% si yako ni ya Mungu tayari. So unapoitumia unafanya nini? Wewe ndio unaiba. Si watu unamnyima, unamwibia actually una, unaingiza mkono kwake, unatoa na unaenda unatumia. Alafu sasa you invite curses to your life. But you see we live in the New Testament. Kwa hivyo tukasema eh, sisi tuliondoka kwa sheria ni sawa. Now let us go to the New Testament version of the same. Hebu ambia jirani kuna ya gano jipya. By the way hata mimi nakubaliana nawe. Kwa hivyo mimi sisomagi verse 9 na somaga verse 10. Maana hii verse 9 ndio inasema umelaniwa kwa laana. Sasa kwa vile sitaki kulaniwe kwa laana. Unajua kulaniwa ni kubaya. Lakini urudi ulaniwe kwa laana. Sasa Kuna mtu amesikia mpaka hapo. Hai. Lazima kitu kivunjike. Kwa hivyo lazima dozi ingie. Chapie bwana Yesu makofi. Hebu <clears throat> tusongee hiyo grace tu kidogo. Hii grace inapokelewaga kwa imani. Eh sote ni wanadamu. Kwa hivyo I understand where you are coming from kile chenye umeshindwa ku apply ni faith for grace. Hebu ambia jirani, apply faith for grace. How? Ya kwamba nikitoa hii 10% silali njaa. Grace itatosha ku meet your needs. What stealing from God does huwa inakunyima ujasiri. Inakunyima nini? ujasiri mahitaji ya kikuja umeishiwa ukianza kuomba huwa e, na unajua yule yule adui mshtaki wa wandugu anakupointia si ni vile ulikula tithe alafu maombi ni kama umedungwa sidalo kama baluni imedungwa nini lakini kama ulitoa tithe e, you can claim the grace sumpigie bwana Yesu makofi Kwa hivyo wale tunaishi kwa grace hebu tuende Luke chapter 6 verse 38 I hope people are writing hata kama hutaki kuandika mengi andika hizo verses wende usome nyumbani <laughs> Suliambia ulete kansani fungu la kumi. Sasa hii na inasema wapeni watu vitu nanyi mtapewa kipimo cha kujaa na kushindiliwa na kusukwa sukwa hata kumwagika ndicho watu watakacho wapa vifuani mwenu kwa kuwa na hiyo ndio vazi yetu 
kipimo kile mpimacho mpimacho ndicho mtakacho pimiwa give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure that he meet with all it shall be measured to you again sasa hapa Yesu anaileta kwa lugha nzuri sana lakini nataka nikwambie the effect of look of obeying Luke chapter 6 verse 38 is the same as obeying Malachi chapter 10 hmm? chapter 3 verse 10 Hallelujah Amen. Anasema hivi Toa na kipimo kile utakachopima ndicho utapimiwa nacho Method ya kupimiwa imeelezwa vizuri sana. Imeambiwa kipimo cha kujaa, hebu sema kujaa. Kushindiliwa, kusukwa sukwa, kumwagika. Hebu tuseme tena, kujaa, kushindiliwa, kusukwa sukwa hata kumwagika ndicho utapimiwa nacho okay naomba ukumbuke ukumbuke Genesis chapter 1 ulipewa uwezo wa ku multiply hapa umeambiwa itajaa ifanye nini ishindiliwe isukosukwe irudi jazwe mpaka i overflow alafu upewe <coughs> Hebu twende hapo kwa multiplication kwanza. Tusiende mbali. 1 times 1 tujibu pamoja. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Ambia jirani unaona pale laana inakujiaga. Haijasemwa. Lakini it is automatic. Kama ni 1 itabaki giwani hapo hapo. <laughs> Hebu 2 times 2 times 2 Eh? Times 2 Times 2 Hebu mpigie bwana Yesu makofi So kama hii kujaza inajazwa by multiplication every time you give hata kama una multiply by 2 unaona vile unapiga hatua haraka sana So mpigie bwana Yesu makofi Siku ingine, kaenda bank Sikuwa nimetumwa na church kwa bahati nzuri Lakini watu bank wanajua mimi ni pasta Nilikuwa nimetumwa na mamangu wana project yao ya duka la mbegu kule home wanaita Amani Women Group Sijui ni whatever 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 Sasa nikatumwa nipeleke hela na ile hela ilikuwa na masilva mengi Nilipofika pale wa jamaa wakahesabu 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 walifanya kazi kubwa sana na mimi nilifanya kazi kubwa sana ya kubeba lakini toto lilikuja pesa kidogo ilikuja pesa kidogo na nimechoka azikufika 1000 lakini nimechoka hizo ni silver zimejazwa zile vidude zikashindiliwa zile si mnajua bank wana zile tray zao mm. zikaondolewa mm. wacha wengine waingia tu bwana very lightly na wanamwaga vitu hata hawajachoka hata hawatoi jasho wanatoka wa, hesabu yao inakuja hundreds of thousands mimi nimebeba nimechoka hata 1000 hebu ambia jirani kama unatoa silver silver aise hata zijazo na kushindiliwa bado you are in trouble i'm saying you are in trouble you are in trouble hebu mpigie bwana yesu makofi kuna mtu ameishika kufikia hapo mwenye anatoa 50s si atamzidi huyu wa pound mwenye anatoa 100 si atamzidi huyu wa 50s inaenda hivyo mpaka yule wa thousands 
Amen. amen. Nasema amen. amen. Ambia jirani, it is a decision people make. And then their status changes. Whether you go the Malachi way or you go the Luke's way. Amen. amen. Bado, <laughs> ukiamua kutoa kidogo kidogo sana, utaumia. You'll be cast without a curse. In Luke, you are cast without? Unaka broke too. Hi. Tulisema, how many ways of triggering, triggering your blessing? Number one, take dominion. Number two, pay your tithe. Hebu ambia mtu pay your tithe, pay your tithe, pay your tithe. Sasa, hii kipibu enye luku anasema hapa, ili usije ukaumia sana, amen. Kama unaenda the looks way, it is safe to use 10% as your minimum. Amen. Hebu ambia mtu, hata kama unatumia looks way. Mana kipimu unachopima sinu unapimiwa eh. Hata kama unaenda looks way, it is still safe to use the principle of the tithe. Hi. Naomba tuende. Uh, leo, leo ni koshule, staki mchezu. Hebu tuseme second, tuende second chronic, the second Corinthians. Nine, eight. Nine, verse eight. Na mungu aweza kuwajaza kila neema kwa wingi. Ili nini mkiwa na riziki za kila namu na siku zote. Mpate kuzidi sana katika kila tendo jema. Kama ilivyo andika hapo tu. Na mungu aweza kuwajaza kila neema kwa wingi. Ili nini mkiwa na riziki za kila namu na siku zote. Mpate kuzidi sana katika kila tendo jema. Um, hapa point ni tenda mema unapewa utende mema that is why we said i'm blessed to bless and be a blessing amen neema inakuwa nyingi wakati umejikomit kutenda mema naomba nisome hii kanuni Naomba nisome hii kanuni ambayo nimeandika hapa. God cannot bless you beyond your commitment to being a blessing. Mungu hawezi kukubariki zaidi ya vile unavyojikomit kuwa baraka. God cannot bless you beyond your commitment to becoming a blessing. Amen. Hebu brother Mwendo Smam. Nitamtumia huyu ndugu. Aliacha kazi zake zote akaenda ajitolee kukaa na watoto. Sijui Mungu anafanya vipi ama atafanya vipi, but that man must be blessed. Yaani <coughs> heaven na ina njia ingine. Haiwezi hepa, itapitia wapi ndio ihepe. He has such a commitment to be a blessing to those children. Asante ndugu. Sioni sioni a better example. Hebu mpigie bwana Yesu makofi. Hebu ambia jirani commit yourself to being a blessing. Niliona picha wapendwa wameenda kuona wale watoto. Mara nyingine tukienda huko pia tumebeba zizawadi. You must commit yourself. Aso anasema Mungu nibariki. Mungu nibariki. He doesn't bless you to become a reservoir. He blesses you to become a channel. Hebu mpigie bwana Yesu makofi. Hebu ambia jirani Mungu hataki uwe tank. Anataka uwe mfereji. Ah, mchapie bwana Yesu makofi. Hataki uwe tank ya kuhifadhi. Anataka uwe mfereji wa kupeleka. Mpigie bwana Yesu makofi. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I like this. Hai. Ninaenda nikimalizia. Uliza mtu kama dozi inaingia. God is blessing you na anataka vitu viwili kwako. Nikimalizia. Anataka vitu viwili kwako. Ukiwa na hizi vitu viwili utaendelea kubarikiwa. Anapoanza kukubariki unapoanza kuona mambo yako si mabaya sana. Oh haleluya. Ilikuwa uki, ukionekana unalia kansani unaomba Mungu kumbe yale machozi ni kwa sababu unalilia watoto wako waliolala njaa wasijua wakashinda njaa na wakala njaa tena. Lakini siku hizi si hayo unalilia. Amen. Yeah. Ukianza kufika hulili hayo. It is no longer a big deal kupata meal. It is no, no longer such a big big deal for children to remain in school. Ikianza kufika it is no such a big deal for you to be new clothes or good clothes for that matter. Tunaelewana paka hapo. Sasa Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 comes to play. Nawe utamkumbuka Bwana Mungu wako. Maana ndiye akupae nguvu za kutajirika. Amen. Mpige Bwana makofi hapo. <laughs> Naomba usimame kidogo. Naomba usimame kidogo. Hii seminar lazima tumalize. Ambia jirani hii seminar mpaka tumalize hii seminar. Hebu hebu jinyoroshe kidogo, jinyoroshe kidogo. Things must happen. 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 Tukai. Hallelujah. Urusha rusha migu kama bado unasikia. Unasibana hii kitu mpaka ingie. Hii kitu mpaka ingie. Hebu kete sasa. Amen. Watu wakibarikiwa kitu cha kwanza. Danger ya kwanza. Ni kusahau ni mungu wale wabariki. Amen. Hebu ambia jirani usisahau. Usimsahau Mungu maana ndiye akupa nguvu za ku. Unaanza. <coughs> um, um, watu wengine hamna akili. <coughs> watu wengine hamna bidii. Em em nilifanya ile kazi pale kwa bidii paka paka bosses wakatoka Nairobi. Um, wakajua kaa sasa wakaona eh mimi nafanya vizuri kuliko boss kwa hivyo ndio maana eh ndio maana nikapewa transfer ndio maana siku hizi eh siku hii mnafanya nini kidogo <coughs> bado uko na kale kasifika certificate tulimazana kwa shule eh ah ndio maana ndio maana msongi hati ndio maana msongi waja mimi nilienda kwa zile ya fulani nikaenda ile ya fulani hata juzi nimetoka 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 uingereza pull up your socks pull up your socks I say we. Ebo abiyajrali ukumbu ke mungu ndio alikupa wezo. Mungu ndio alikupa wezo. Mungu ndio alipea na iyo scholarship ili kupeleka ngambo. Mungu ndio alikupa iyo capital ndio kawa na iyo biashara. Mungu ndio alikupa iyo gari. Hello. Uh, Rafiki ingine wakina my dad alikupa kuja akabarikiwa akawa na magari tena mazuri alafu akawa na drive alafu na kukuta kwa barabara na wepia ni mchungaji siku hizo sisi ni watoto alafu unasimamisha alafu una hata kuuliza vizuri kwani unaenda wapi unamweleza akaambia um, anaweza kubeba lakini utapata lecture lakini mara nyingine hata akubebi unapewa lecture hapo hapo unaambiwa apply faith my brother <laughs> Hei ulizwe, kwanu yu mungu njimu natumikia, mungu enu ni maskini. Alafu, waa. Wow. Before he died, ayo magariote alisha, akarudi na ye kupanda matatu. Alafu, wachungaji na wawaku muachia. Wakamza, ah, kwanu mungu wako walikuja filisika, mbona unakuja huku kwa matatu tela. Hei buambia mtu. <coughs> Kusitusahau wakati unapanda. 
wala usitudharau wakati wa kupanda maana huenda ukatuhitaji wakati wa kushuka <laughs> wewe ukahitaji tukupatie gazi <laughs> tukuwekee gazi urudi hapa <laughs> lakini ambia jirani mimi sitakuwa na kiburi kwa hivyo sirudi chini mimi ni wa replenish nitamkumbuka Mungu nitaendelea kumtumikia Mungu nitaendelea kumwabudu Mungu nitaendelea kumtolea Mungu hiyo ndio njia wapendo ya kuishi na baraka hebu mpigie bwana Yesu makofi Haleluya lakini ukianza kusema ati sisi ni imani hatuna e, tunatumikia Mungu mdogo wewe ndio una Mungu mkubwa i say utahitaji ngazi sasa hivi utahitaji ngazi ya kurudi huku chini uje usome some ndio pengine upewe ngazi tena ya kurudi juu ya mwisho ya kwanza remember the lord your god for it is he that giveth thee the power to get wealth wanaume mpo wajua hela ikiwa nyingi wanaume wanazaga kuona wadada wengine ndio warembo zaidi changa changa ndogo ndogo bishop kama ujuzi akasema kwani unafikiri mke wako anachapa peke yake hata unachapa hata hata sisi tunachapa mwingine akauliza kwani si wewe ndio ulimzalisha bana kwani amezeka hivi hivi ni wewe sababu ya uzee wake ni wewe kwa hivyo mnasabaga vipi <coughs> hebu ambia mtu pambana na hali yako <laughs> hebu pige bwana Yesu bakofi pambana na hali yako bana pa endelea kupambana hali yako huh? wewe ulifikiri utaitwa dadi ya fulani na without consequences there are consequences so now enjoy the consequences also mpige bwana Yesu bakofi mazuri <laughs> yote yote hiyo mkumbuke bwana Mungu wako haleluya aliyekubariki aliyekupa hizo vitu acha kuona mke sasa si mrembo acha kuona hii kanisa sasa si nzuri si nzuri vipi bwana si ulete hiyo pesa basi tuirekebishe acha mchezo bwana lete hela nzuri uone kama itarembeka hey, usitulete halo hmm? nyumba mamako imekuwa mbaya tengeneza oh siwezi kwenda kuinama uh, unainama kwa nini si ujenge yenye mlango mkubwa hey, wacha madharau bana mkumbuke Mungu akupai uwezo wa kutajirika acha kiburi kile upendi tengeneza maana Mungu amekubariki hii historia ya kuja kupiga piga mama watu dumu hey, ndio aingie kwa nyumba utaacha umesikia yes. wajama wengine ati mama anaenda Nairobi wewe mwenyewe ndio huku mnunulia marinda amefika pale eh ako na slippers pia ni red and blue yani moja red moja blue na imelika mguu na kanyaga chini tena mtu amevaa sandal alafu naambiwa kuna mgeni yako kwa gate alafu unachungulia from the gorofa unaona ni mamako unasema huyo simjui naambia jirani hizo mistake usijaribu kufanya rembesha mama Mungu akikubariki rembesha baba rembesha pasta wako asiwe waibu waibu alafu nakataa kuniita kule unafanya kazi nje kubiri maana <coughs> tai tai bechapa <laughs> kizungu iko lakini sasa <coughs> ah pige bwana Yesu bakofi wewe hmm? unafikiri kina mstabazo na nalikaga bure si vile unajua si nitawaibisha Niekeni vizuri ndio niendelee kualikwa bana. Unajua ukianza kaf bye bye waje bana kukupa kukualika. Eh bana saa hata wakikualika hawezi kusema wewe ni pastor wangu. Inabidi wapitipitie ka ando the man of god man of god like that wasebi. Hebu mchapie bana Yesu makofi.
All that is under Mkumbuke Bwana Mungu wako maana ndiye akupae uwezo wa kutajirika. Na wazazi ni, ni Mungu wa pili. Ona your father and your mother. Therefore be a blessing. You are blessed to be a blessing and uh, you are blessed to bless and be a blessing. Ya mwisho. Now Wajua mimi na imani kubwa mtafika huko kwenye ninasema. Kwa hivyo inabidi nikupe charge. Onyo kali linapatikana katika katika 1 Timothy 1 Timothy chapter 6. Chapter 6 verse 18. Charge. Sasa unajua tumetoka pale fi si shida, chakula si shida. Sasa hata mnaendaga out, mwende mkule dina nje, sikuizi mnajua pizza zinauzwa wapi, mefika hapo na mnafika huko na gari, mnajua joint za kule nje ya town, out of town. Hai, ukifika hapo sasa. Biblia inasema, charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy mpigie bwana yesu makofi number 1 uh, as god blesses you don't trust the riches they are uncertain jambo la kwanza usiwai tegemea utajiri wako Utajiri wako unaweza ukaisha na siku moja. It is very uncertain. Hello, naomba uniangalie, naomba uniangalie, naomba uniangalie. Dada mmoja wa jamii yetu alikuwa na hela mzuri, hakuwa na haja na watu. Siku moja mtoto wake akaugua na akaugua kweli hata hakuishi lakini before aende akaanza kumpeleka hospitali za pesa mimi hapa nilikuwa sijawahi sikia sauti yake kwa simu lakini kipindi hicho nilipigiwa si mara moja wala mbili wala tatu nikiambiwa omba omba oh, oh, kwa ajili ya fulani mimi nilikuwa siwezi pigiwa simu lakini hizo siku nilipigiwa na baada ya zizo za maombi za maombi nikaanza kupigiwa e, jamani nisaidieni na bill jamani tusaidieni na bill tukalipa mabill tukalipa mabill mtoto akaenda dada yetu akanyoroka akafanya lili Ambia jirani usitegeme utajiri maze. Unaweza kumalizwa na ugonjwa mmoja hivi ugonjwa mmoja hivi ukaenda na hiyo hela yote pa. Ugo magonjwa mangapi? Si wateleano wamerusha zao kwa barabara wakisema zitatusaidia nini tunakufa na corona. It is an hebu ambia jirani usiwai usiwai. Lete madharau. Ati kwa ajili unasumuni kwa mfuko. <laughs> Hata wale wamezaliwa juzi juzi kila mwabila wajui kulikuwa na pesa inaitwa sumuni. <laughs> Hello. Number one, don't trust the riches. Number two, don't be high minded. Usilete kiburi kwa ajili ya hela. That means remain humble. Number three, trust God who gives. Trust God who gives alafu he gives for two reasons and i like the first one bless amakamba he gives us richly to enjoy mimi nimeshangaga na biblia inataka tufundishe watu kila kitu mpaka kuenjoy hebu ambie jirani ukipewa enjoy bana siko kwa biblia mimi nimeambiwa nifundishe ambie jirani biblia inasema anakupa ili uenjoy 
Mwambie vizuri kabisa. Usipewe na utukujie na nguo za ajabu ajabu hapa na ulishabarikiwa. Hutaki kuenjoy. Hmm? Umebarikiwa na bado unaishi nyumba za ajabu ajabu. Hapana, ishi nyumba ya kueleweka. Maana amekubariki na lengo uenjoy. Kuna watu hata kuenjoy mpaka tuambie. Hebu ambia mtu please 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 Mungu atakubariki. Lakini sununulie watu watoto vitu vizuri vizuri wa enjoy. Oh, umebarikiwa na kuna tofauti na wakati ule ukubarikiwa. Shida zile zile kwa nyumba ni zile zile. At I'm saving, I'm saving. No, you are not given only to save. In fact, you are not given to save. Uliambiwa tu mbegu usikule. Bas. Alafu ingine we enjoy. Usikule mbe? Bas. That's all God wants. The rest Hai, ufanye nini? Ambia jirani, enjoy. Katika Bwana. Ah. Amen. Amen. Na ya pili, enjoy and do good. Vitu vili tu. Enjoy and do good. Bas. Kama unatenda mambo mema. Kama unatenda mambo mema, just go and enjoy. Wapendwa shetani ni mbaya, ni mbaya, ni mbaya. Ni mbaya. Ni mnini? Anawe, unawezo ukabarikiwa. Na ukaenda tu kuenjoy kwa hotel. Ukaenda tu mahali. Ukaagiza chakula yenu murwa, mkawa mnakula. Alafu anakuambia, hmm. <coughs> We unakula hapa na ndugu zako wakonja. Na ulifanya shopping ukapeleka kwa mamu. Mwambie shindwa. Sasa nisi enjoy. Siwezi kubarikiwa na likai vile vile. Ebu mpige bala yesu makofi. Ukinunuwa nguo. Hala kuambia na watoto wa ndugu yako. Ay, kwa nila lulea family. Nila lulea dunia zima. Ebu ambia jirani. Kuenjoy pia neno la mungu. Usikubali shetani aku, akuumize. Kuna mtu naelewa ni naongea mambo mazito sahi. Hata sahi hivi naongea mambo mazito sana. The devil wants us to remain in a funny way. Hmm? Ukipiana watoto wako wakienjui kidogo. Anakuambia tina wabrada wako, na wasisti wako, na wanti wako. Hai! Mtawasaidia, lakini na mimi ni enjoy. Sifungi masikio kwao, sifungi moyo wangu kwao, lakini pia kuenjoy. Ambia jirani, pia kuenjoy ni neno la mungu. I rest my case. I rest my case. Sema amen. Na sema amen. Kuna mtu wamepokea? Simama kwa migu yako. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break the curse of poverty. In the name of Jesus, as we commit ourselves to serve you and worship you with our substance, to do what you have said we do. That, oh my God, for every fruit that you give us, Lord, there is a seed. A seed that you want us to plant into your kingdom. Lord, with a minimum of 10%, I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll give us the strength to live with this commitment that will have our hearts open to them that are needy, to them that are poor, to them that need our help. That, oh my God, grace may abound so that we may have all sufficiency at all times so that we may abound in every good works for the glory and honor of your own holy name father we thank you and father we bless you father we glorify your name we give you praise and we give you honor in the name of jesus father we thank you and father we bless you in jesus mighty name we pray believing and trusting and may the church say a big big amen amen amen